Good morning, everybody. This is Jill McBay. Welcome to my channel, Not Too Shabby Chic. It's been a while since I have made a video. Um, I've had the dreaded virus, um, but I'm doing good. I'm still a little winded, so you might notice that when I'm talking. And hopefully my video won't be too long, but I wanted to share with you today um, a journal I finished um, and it's my first botanical journal so I'm excited about it I, I really like how it turned out and hope you enjoy it so I want to get busy it is a soft sort of cover made from a file folder one of those uh, like heavy duty file folders not a file yeah a file folder but anyway and I've covered it with paper it just has one signature um, and it has about 49 pages counting front and back and I've got it cinched with just a cotton um, fabric I'm not sure what kind of fabric this is actually but I like it and I thought it went nice with this theme. So here we go. Um, I purchased this angel at a thrift store and just loved her and decided to use her on the front of the journal. She has little metal wings and I didn't think they showed up enough so I added some lace wings and a little jewel on her head. It's a vintage button. This is a vintage piece of jewelry. This is a piece of trim that I got at the Turnip Green. Um, this is cheesecloth already colored this way and I was so excited to find it at Hobby Lobby when it was on sale. Vintage buttons here. This is a rose and some trim from Hobby Lobby. This is another vintage piece of jewelry. Let's see if you can focus up close there see her face she's so cute and then I've got an old piece of tape I found and glued there and it says may you embrace your vulnerability and practice courage every single day and boy are we doing that now and then at the top it says be brave and I loved what it said, and it's really apropos for today's time. So that's the cover, and I did the cheesecloth on the spine. I wanted it to be a real raggedy look, so there's no extra charge for all the strings. And then the back, of course, I had showed this once before. I did a patchwork Franken page sort of uh, design on the cover. You can't see it on the front now much because I've covered it all up, but on the reverse, on the back side, you can see it. And I used a vine stitch and then the cheesecloth. And I decided not to put anything on the back. Whoever gets it can certainly decorate it if they like. So let's open it up. The first um, page is from a paper pack. It's one of my favorites. However, I can't tell you the name because I don't remember. And I made a pocket here and it's again real grungy and torn looking and inside this pocket you can put whatever you want I stuck in a couple of tags this is a bird tag with a whale whale tail tab <laughs> it's hard to say and inked on the front and back this is like just a little mini notepad I just took some fabric ribbon and sewed across the top so that it gave it some interest and it's just a little extra little journaling spot for you and of course the tab makes it easier to pull out of the pocket this is a little mini page amazing day and there's a little bird and it's got some sparkle of course this is a um, sticker I got through the mail and I can't remember where Pam Van E, Pam's Paper Place mentioned this this company and I've got to ask her again who that was because I love these um, 
stickers. They you almost don't see the sticker part, and they're I've got a botanical set and a mushroom set. I sewed around this little page with the vine stitch, and then on the back side, it's a little pocket again with one of those stickers. Let's see if you can get it up close. Oh, here we go. It's a fern, and I have a vintage playing card. Someone sent me in happy mail, and I love, I've begun to love the vintage playing cards. I never was a big fan, really, but now I kind of like them. And then this, I believe, is, I hate to say, but I believe this is Tsunami Rose. And it's Psalm 27.4, it's got the hummingbirds, and I did a chicken scratch stitch. And then, of course, on the back, you can journal. Psalm 27, 4 says, The thing I ask from the Lord, His own, His only do... What am I saying? One thing I ask from the Lord, His only do I seek. You know what? It's not His. It's this. I stitched over the T. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, and gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. It's a beautiful verse and it's a beautiful card. So that's that. And I had stenciled just a little number, random numbers there. So that's just a little tuck spot. This page, I got this, I believe from Kathy Leatherman um, in Happy Mail, of some time back. It's a little gnome with a bird. He's playing a mandolin and it's just a little journaling page. I've hoarded it for ever and I decided to use it. And this is just plain paper cheesecloth in the back. I use a lot of cheesecloth. Oh, and on this page at the bottom there's a um, journaling card or um, some kind of little card I got somewhere. Eh and I stamped a moth on it. And then there's lace behind it. And then below on the gnome, I have this trim that I've hoarded. And I just thought it was cute on this page and kind of hangs out of the bottom. This also is a pocket. And I've got another vintage playing card. This is, oh, upside down, huh? This is a little birdhouse with a cardinal and blue jay, and I'm not sure about the other birds, but it's a winter scene. thought it was a beautiful card with a nature theme, and it's a jack of diamonds. I feel like that Catch-21 show. This is a sweet postcard from my one of my sister's clients who traveled all over the world and gave her a lot of postcards, and she sent them to me because I would use them in my journals. It's a vintage postcard and this is from Holland with the beautiful windmill so that is in there this page uh, I got from H Zern from free printables uh, she had some some pieces that she couldn't scan or use and I asked her if she would not to throw them away if she would mind sending me some so she did and I love this image I've seen it used a lot but I have an original card shaker family pills and i put the lace around her and i didn't mind that she was scratched up and chipped because that's kind of how all of us are we're a little dinged and scratched through because of life but it doesn't change who we are and our value that kind of reminds me of that this is just a plain coffee dyed page that i did um, and a fabric ruffle, and again, the, the vine stitch. I think I'm pretty much sewn on every page. This page, again, is the other side of the coffee dyed paper. I used a piece of cardboard and just put a piece of lace and some um, eyelash trim and this little doodad. And it's got a little picture in there, and this is vintage, and I don't know where I got it. And I can't really tell, and I don't know if you can, what it's a picture of. But I thought it was cool. In there, I made a tag from an Edith Holden page. 
This has got a butterfly, and I use seam binding for the bow, and then there's some Edith holding stuff, but it, there's enough room for you to journal on the back. It's got the vine stitch on just part of it. So, there you go. This is um, a belly band I made. Um, this, and I glued, uh, out of the paper pack, I just tore out the rows. I thought it was pretty and glued it there. I made this tag out of fabric and put seam binding bow, and there's an eyelet. Um, it's a really pretty, I guess it's a cotton polyester blend fabric of a yellow rose, and then um, just some cardstock on the back that you can journal on. And I did, you know, sloppy stitching, I call it. And then I have a green because it's botanical ish uh, flashcard, and I just did lots of fun sloppy stitching, which is my favorite on the front and back of that. Um, you could journal down here, <laughs> but I thought it was just a fun card. I stenciled leaves on the back, and I used uh, some green ink, and I do not remember which brand, um, but you can use, if you wanna use ink, you can do whatever you want. Any green will do. And then I just did a plain stitch here, and of course I inked around every page. Here's some more of the stenciling. I got lighter in the center. Sorry, I'm still winded. But you can journal on this side. Uh, this is a short page. This is another little vintage, very old image. It says peace down here. And these are dogwoods. I think. I'm not a big flower connoisseur, but I thought of them as dogwoods because they would Remind me too of this time of year with Easter coming up and we just had Palm Sunday. And I've got cheesecloth in the back. And then on the back side, I just lightly stamped with some corrugated board, a little seam binding cheesecloth and a vintage button. It's a really pretty silver one with flowers on it. This page, I took a coffee dyed doily I did and wrapped around, you'll see the other side later and this is a little cluster someone sent me in happy mail and again I've been hoarding this stuff but I decided to use this one and added a vintage button and I love the coffee dyed doily on this side um, I used a music sheet a vintage music sheet and it's the frog something you'll see the other side I don't remember um, I used a little brown paper bag I got at Joann's with this is some linen off of a really old book and three vintage buttons with some lace and um, someone sent me this in Happy Mail and it says vintage and it's got the plants on it and the mushrooms and then I stuck a, and it has a pocket and I stuck a couple of little tags this is another um, this is a little mini postcard, and it's got a quote by Albert Einstein. Look deep into nature, and then you will understand everything better. Albert Einstein. Isn't that pretty? And there's a little flower on the back, and you could journal on that. I just think nature speaks to the glory of God. Um, I don't know how anyone can look around even just at nature and see the beauty and wonder of it and not know there's a God. Uh, I got this little mini envelope from someone a long time ago in Happy Mail. I stuck these itty bitty butterfly stickers all over it and um, my word that I had cut out of a book says and let it fly away. So to me it's let your cares fly away. You know don't worry about everything and don't fear because God is there with you if you know him. If you don't, I encourage you to do so because without him, I don't know how anyone faces anything because he has taken me through so many things. So there is a cute little note it, um, you can write on, a little piece of paper tucked in the little envelope. And of course I had to ink, I couldn't help myself. Every time I try to do a binder and not ink it, I ink it. I just can't help it. And then I put a lace in there. And then here's another little mini journal. And it says, 
Life is full of beauty in the garden, a very wonderful place. And this is just different words I got out of a book and put them together to make a sentence. Um, just a paper pack. And then I took different coffee dyed papers, strips, sizes, that, and just stapled them and then glued the lace on top. So it's a neat little journaling booklet. I always like to put two or three of these in my journals. Just because. This is a twenty I made. It's got some fibers here, a vintage button. This is a um, cantha quilt, I think it's called. I got from Amore Fabrics. I can't remember the real name. And a little piece of fabric and a little tiny key. And then I've got some fabric with a design on it in muslin. I sewed around the page. And then this is an altered paper clip I bought from somebody, and I apologize, I don't remember who, but it's got a beautiful little flower design on some cheesecloth. See? And then I included this butterfly card, journaling card, that I stitched around with, I call that a heartbeat stitch. I'm not sure what it really is. You can journal on the back. I'm gonna try to go fast so y'all don't go to sleep on me. I know my my videos are long because my journals are long, so I tried to do a little bit shorter. Oh, this is another postcard from my sister's friend, and she has a YouTube channel now called At Carla Quigley Art, I believe it is, and I will try to link it below. And uh, she does Christian art and painting, mostly paintings and things. She's really an amazing artist. And this is a vintage postcard from this one is Carlton Arboretum Wildlife Preserve I shouldn't try to read a card that I can't pronounce the words hmm embarrass yourself jail um, I put fabric ruffle and there's a mushroom sticker from that place I got from Pam Van E I knew this. Pam, tell us where this place is if you watch the video. This is a twenty I got at a retreat I went on in January, a craft retreat that someone made, and I got them all mixed up and don't remember who made it. It says always, but I love it. And I just used it as a tuck spot. And you have a little black and white rose card that you can journal on the back. Here's another one of the cards from Tsunami Rose. This is... Romans 15 4 with the hummingbirds for everything that was written in the past was written to teach us so that through the endurance taught in the scriptures and the encouragement they provide we might have hope and I do and I'm just so thankful for God's word and for his grace mercy is healing as I'm getting over this virus it's been a long haul but I've been blessed I've not run a fever the entire time I've had a lot of other symptoms and some weird ones that I don't haven't heard anyone else having but I am here and I never had to be hospitalized thank you Lord this is some pretty paper I've had in my stash and again sewed around this page I made a triple pocket this was out of a paper pack and it looks like the old tape but that's just the way the paper pack was, so I kind of cut it out. In the first pocket, I put um, a little journaling thing, and there's one of those stickers. That's a fern with something brown growing behind it. And I wanted this one to look real rugged and rough, so it does. And you can journal in there and on the back. And this is a vintage something. I get it open. We don't have these anymore. And some of you young whippersnappers probably never saw this. It's called Callback Memo. This is older than me, even. I don't remember this. But you would, as a secretary, or if you were a salesman, no, I'm sorry, not a secretary, a salesman, apparently, you would um, fill this out and turn it in 
and you would have a number when you were going to call back, I guess, or maybe you left it for the client. I don't know. I just thought it was cute, and you can journal on it, and then you can journal on the back. So I just folded it up and tucked it, tuck, 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 tucked it in there. <laughs> Sound like a chicken. Then I took another one of these um, botanical cutouts, put a tab on it, and sewed around it for a journaling spot, and that goes there. And you can put other things in the pockets if you want. This is something I got from H. Zern, and it's a really, really old um, advertising card. And I just stapled with my tiny attacher, piece of old fabric. And she cute, or he or she is sleeping and got their little toys. I just think it's cute. And there's a squirrel, Paula, Richie. And I cut off his head with the, with the fabric. And you can journal on the back. I was afraid to sew on that because I was afraid it might crumble it up. So that's that page. This page, I took another one of the postcards from my sister's friend. I, I probably should get her name, so I quit calling her my sister's friend. This is a word cluster I made some time back, and I've got a tutorial on my page on how to do word clusters. It's very easy and simple. Um, and I made, I made a pocket out of that. This is a tag I got in Happy Mail, and I just um, stapled with my tiny attacher some lace on it and left it long there. I don't think I meant to do that because it doesn't even look right. I think I just forgot to whack it off. So there we go. No more of that. It's made out of a paper pack and you could journal on it or glue something on there to journal on. I just thought it was pretty. This is out of a botanical book, an encyclopedia, and I love some of the plants, sewed around the pages and inked them. Here's the other side. This is a plain side and I put what? <laughs> like what kind of plants are these? Or what are you doing today? What are your thoughts for the day? A prompt. And inked around it in green. There's another one of the firm stamp, fern stamp. Here is a coloring page that was in my mother's coloring books and she's gone to heaven now. And I like using her coloring pages in my journal. So this one says be inspired and it's got lots of flowers and leaves and botanical looking things. So you could color that or leave it like it is. Then I included in the, this is the center of the signature, two little leaves for the center. This is very old off of a vintage necklace of some kind. And this is off of an old pair of earrings, I think, but it's not so vintage. But this one is vintagey, really vintage. This is just a green ink page. Again, one of those stickers from whatever that place is with the Black Eyed Susie, my favorite kind of flower, daisy flower. Another, the other side of that botanical book page. This is just a plain page you can journal on. I did a little bit of light stamping. This is an altered paper clip for your enjoyment. And I stuck something on the back that I'll show you. So on the back, I included, and again, I've been hoarding and I'm, I need to get rid of this stuff. This is a true vintage postcard from 19, it's either 1915 or 1910, and it's got the actual handwriting I'm not going to try to read it to you, but it's really cool. I love things with pe that people, this is a person, and it's, it tells a story, you know, it's, um, it's really cool. So I included that for you, and then there's a dictionary page that folds out, and you can learn a few words. I meant, my sister told me I should do this, and I forgot. So I will do this, but I was going to highlight some specific words here that had to do with botanicals or plants, um, and there are a few in here. So I'll try to remember to do that. If I don't, you can do it, whoever gets it. So that's that. This.
is another altered paper clip and I just put a bow on that side. I'll leave it like that for now. Uh, another one of the postcards from you know who. I want to say it again. And I think there's two. Yeah, I put two. One's from Lyman Lakes in Northfield, Minnesota. And one's Lyman Lakes Bridge. So these are very vi old, vintage. I wouldn't say they're like 1920s, but probably, you know, from the 70s, I would imagine. Because I don't know the date. But anyway, you can journal on the back or use them as an actual postcard or do whatever you want. On this side, it's an altered paper clip I got in Happy Mail. I think it was Kathy Leatherman, but I'm honestly not sure. And then I believe um, Sherry Schmier sent me this tea bag. It's a shaker tag, which I love. Tea bag shaker tag. Now it was clear. It's got the little tag. I glued a piece of coffee dyed paper on the back so you could journal on the back as well as shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. That was my favorite band in high school. KC and the Sunshine Band for those of you who don't have a clue what I'm talking about. No, I am Corona-fied, but I'm not crazy. Well, I am crazy. Uh, I digress. Here's another altered paper clip. I think I purchased these like that other, the uh, prior one I showed you. And I don't remember who I bought them from, but I thought they were really pretty. And behind this one, is another postcard. Hold it right. Isn't that gorgeous? It's one of those redwood trees. It's an ancient Douglas. It's not a redwood tree. You can tell I know nothing about botanicals except that they're pretty. This is an ancient Douglas fir in Oregon's Willamette National Forest. Isn't that gorgeous? So anyway, that's included for you. On the back, I just put a piece of lace on that um, paper clip. Again, sewed. The other side of the song, the frog chorus. And I loved it because there's a picture of the little frogs on the lily pads. Isn't that cute? And then I did a fabric ruffle there. The other side of the coffee dyed lace, not lace, paper doily that's torn and I liked it that way. This is a little page that has a writing spot. It's a paper doily, but it's thick. And it says, What a Wonderful World. Do you remember that song? I'm not going to sing that one. So there's that. And then on this side, it says, Oh, Happy Day. And I do love that song when I was a teenager. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. When Jesus washed he washed my sins away. The lady that wrote that song or sang that song and made it popular came to the church I used to go to and performed that song. And it was so amazing to meet her. She was awesome. Here's another stencil page with some lace and a Tim Holtz flower cut out. Blank, just stenciling there. I made a pocket here and stamped some little fairies and um, dandelions, but you can hardly see them. And in here, it's not a pocket, I'm sorry. Another postcard, this one, look at that, isn't that cool? It's metallic, almost looks 3D. And that is a giant sequoia tree in Kings Canyon National Park. So you have that, that you can journal on. This paper clip I got it Tuesday morning and it's got leaves on it. You can't say what they are but it's kind of cool and it just it's triangle and it sticks up like that so it sticks up out of the book so I kind of liked it. Blanks pages which is very hard for me to do. I did a little stamping like I said there and there's some stenciling. Sewed every page. Um, another one of those beautiful stickers with some red flowers. Uh, paper pack this in tucked in this pocket it's another gorgeous uh, postcard and this one is Protea South Africa I love succulents and that's what that those are and then I included 
this card. I don't know where I got it, but it says, I will conquer and you finish it. I'm going to conquer this virus and I'm going to conquer a lot of things. I guess it was a game. It says game face, but I love that part. So see what you'll conquer. Think about that and determine to do it because nothing is impossible if you set your mind to it, especially with God's help because he's the God of the impossible. I did a little um, fabric flip here. I got this at the retreat from Randy Motes Kirby, Speckled Seahorse, and I sewed a piece of... Uh, crochet doily and a piece of that vine. There's a piece, I got this from Annette Campbell and that's just a piece of burlap that I glued down. So it's just for looks. It serves no purpose except that it's tactile and pretty. This is another um, tuck spot. I've been hoarding this forever and it's adorable. It's got a little butterfly and it's a little journaling booklet and I don't remember who sent it to me but I like I said hoarder that I am I really need an intervention but I don't want to get rid of any of my stuff I just need an intervention for somebody to come fix it all and organize it I'm overwhelmed and I'm not a good girl um this is a word cluster that I did improve your life and I tucked in a couple of little small, this was out of one of those, you know, they have auctions for stamps and what have you, and they print the books, stamp cards, books, and I just cut that one out. And I backed it with coffee dyed paper so you can journal on it. And then I just love this word, this little saying, live for the moment, not for the memory. And it is great to have memories, but what this is saying to me is live for the moment. Every day is precious and don't waste your day trying to only make memories. Live that day to its fullest. And this is another piece of that trim. I got it turnip green, some fabric. I don't know what that's made out of, but it's cool. A piece of vintage lace. And I stamped some butterflies on this piece of muslin. And then there's a fabric ruffle I did with ribbon down the middle. And this is a Tim Holtz flower. And this is the end. And then this back pocket. See what I put in here for you. Another beautiful postcard. Isn't that gorgeous? It reminds me of the Shrek movie. I like that boulder. <laughs> That's what Donkey said. My only line I remember out of that book. And this, what does it have to do with botanicals? Well, it says vegetable. Vegetables to me go with plants, which are botanical. So it's a vegetable party bouquet page. And it tells you how to make this beauty. It says sample. I think this is kind of old. And on the back are your instructions. So I thought that was really cool. Step-by-step -step instructions. Let's see if I can find a date. No, I can't. But in any case, I thought it was cool. And I included that here for whoever gets this journal. And that's the end. So you can private message me if you're interested. I don't think it'll be around long. I've shown it to a couple of people and I've had a couple of people interested in it. So thank you so much for listening and watching. Have a blessed day and make it a good day. It's up to you to choose. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to turn it off now. So bye.